Okay, so we're on to Predator 7. Um, this is the final mission of the Predator campaign, obviously, as uh, each species has seven missions per campaign. So the extinction, uh, the, what, the purification hunt. Um, atrocities against the Predator race continue unbridled and must be stopped once and for all. Dr. Kadinsky's experiments with the captured Predator and the alien life cycle have created the impossible, a Pred alien queen. Dun dun dun. The tainted bloodline per perpetuated by this beast destroys the integrity of the Predator race and is unbearable to the Council of Ancients. This crime may only be resolved with a ritualistic purification of the contaminated hive. The Ancients present your clan with a sacrificial associate, the Ancient who is keeper of the nuclear device. Um, so obviously when they captured a Predator, they, uh, they experimented with the K-series to create um, well, K-series are just a normal alien, although there was K-series in the labs, uh, to create a pred uh, alien queen. What's strange is, um, how the hell did this pred alien queen get out? It's never explained. Although there is marines on the map, I think they're there to actually kill the pred alien queen as well. Um, because the developers actually programmed the marines and aliens on this map to be hostile towards each other, which they don't always do, believe it or not. In fact, there's some missions like in um, Marine Mission 6, where the predators, the aliens, and the hostile uh, hostile marines are all friendly towards each other, which is just really weird. Uh, but on this, they're actually hostile, so... fight for the survival of the predator race before your clan captured the human doctor dr kadinsky he managed to start a process that has created the impossible he has created an alien queen based on predator dna this pred alien queen is an atrocity that will not be tolerated and the bloodline must again be made pure the purification ritual must be performed as decreed by predator law first the clan must exterminate all aliens when the Pred Alien Queen is slaughtered, its skull is to be collected as a symbol of Predator superiority. Then, and only then, may the Hive be purified with the Ancient's ultimate sacrifice, a nuclear detonation. Win the hunt, or disgrace the entire Predator race. Hey, so this is a fun mission. Uh, I used to like playing this mission with uh, cheats on. And, um... some reason we got slowed down there uh, I like I used to play this mission with cheats on because like it was like the Marines and the aliens and all would all fight together and like there's about about 10 or 7 minutes of constant fighting so it's a pretty good map um, and it's also very sad because I wish every map was like this one and I wish there was a skirmish but unfortunately there isn't so uh, first kill all aliens um, proper nuke de detonation spot to be determined after this is done after Pred Alien is killed, seize her skull and put it into the shrine. Uh, the optional objective is complete the hunt without recruiting hydras or blazers. Um, that's really hard, but it's, it's, well, it's, it's, it's fairly hard because, you know, hydras are good against everything. Uh, blazers are useless because there's so many Pred Aliens, but uh, hydras are good. Uh, but I think, if I can remember correctly, if you just use mass, um, if you just use mass hunters, um, it should be easy enough. And we have 39 minutes, so let's get going. Hopefully we don't fuck this one up too bad. Um, we're gonna put this guy in a separate key. We have to keep this guy alive. Otherwise we're kinda boned. The hive on this map is rather large. Um, it's kinda like a... It's kinda like a beehive or something. It's kinda shaped that way. Um, so these, um... These uh, melee treasures tend to die fairly quickly. Oh, and by the way, this ancient guy, he is like one of the best like fighters in this game. He's just so good. Who died there? Let's just drop hunters, and then we can get upgrades. Let's 
So yeah, like the the Marines uh, send in a bit of resistance at the start, but honestly, like it's not it's barely anything. Like they're really not dangerous whatsoever. But yeah, like like I said, this guy, this ancient dude, he is so good. As you can see, there's our uh, Fred Alien. There's a lot of Fred Aliens on this map. Um, I just uh, ball is gonna die now. Should really get that hunter upgrade because it's uh. Okay, so let's uh let's get the spear master actually. My God. And yeah, we'll get the terminal upgrade. These terminals are so good. <laughs> um, when we get, like, so when you get closer to the Predator Queen, there's a nice, like, it's kind of like an arena. Um, and when you attack pretty much any of the aliens in there, but when you attack the Predator Queen, every alien on the map is sent to that position. Uh, very similar behavior that we've seen in the previous Predator missions or any of the missions in this game. It even happens in the alien campaign. Um, and that's the part where a lot of players get slaughtered. Um, but if you use the hunters and you have your shrine protected somewhere else, you can just micro to. Uh, it's not really micro, it's like the easiest micro ever, but if you just like move your hunters around while they're firing, um, it's uh, pretty trivial. That's if you don't use hybrids. So we've got a lot of skulls there. Um, got the vision upgrade, it's so good. We just have to be really careful with the ancient because if he dies, we're all gonna lose. But uh, this map has a lot of ravagers and uh, Praetorians, but they're, you know, not too bad. Yeah, like look at this ancient, he's a badass. Whoa. Looks like one of our um, one of our uh, hunters got face hooked. <laughs> Kinda funny. We really need these skulls because we need as much money as possible. But yeah, like this is like I think this is one of their better design missions. They really put a lot of effort into the AI of both the Marines and the aliens. Um, because there's some missions in this game where it's pretty much like for the entire mission. Um, like for pretty much the entire mission, they just have like static enemies on the map, and the AI doesn't do anything. But on some of these missions, it's particularly like the mission sevens, which are really good. Except Marine Seven, I think that mission's a bit boring. Um, where the AI is like at its best and you actually have the AI doing stuff. I mean this stuff stops after about 10 minutes and then the AI goes back to being pretty static but it's kind of interesting. Uh, we're probably going to get the marines in a minute. If you go into the hive the Marines will actually follow you with exosuits, and uh, usually the aliens can take them out. Right, let's go in. Okay, at this point I might just camp the shrine here.
Yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll install the... Ooh. The reason I'm separating the shrine from the rest of the hunters is because the hunters will not move fast if you have a shrine, shrine in the same group. And uh, it just makes it easier if you separate them. I know, I'm very lazy, but... <laughs> we want to put the new carrier here because if he dies, like, we just fail. So uh, we will get a bit of resistance up here, um, like Ravagers. Hey. Yeah, sometimes that happens, like where the aliens uh, get caught. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty hard part there. Because even though you can go into the hive to the top, just right at the top of the map, um, I'm pretty sure the developers, like, obviously, you know, predicted that, like, well, designed the map in a way that 99% of the players would go through this entrance, so they have more resistance down here. But sure, you have to kill every alien anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We got a lot of credits there. There is actually a way. There is a way to actually get more than 24 units on the map. But basically, it means having tons and tons of credits at one time and ordering in, like, pretty much maxing out all at once. Like, what you do is you order in six predators, and then while they're dropping, you order in another six predators, and then while they're dropping, you order in, order in another five, and, like, you're able to get two more. It's, it's kind of weird, but that's how it works. I don't really destroy the corpses just because I like having them. Oh, and here's a here's a marine attack here. I might as well hold this off over here. We'll collect these skulls in case we have to send in any more reinforcements. Random Oswalk just lying there. As you can see here, the hunters are absolutely destroying. So uh, the runners actually got upgraded, so um, they may be able to take out a few. Uh, the runners got upgraded, so they may be able to take out a few of the hunters if they hit them. Just because you won't be able to run around with the hunters anymore. Cut these skulls.
Come on, get close together, you fuckers. Here. As you can see, white hunters are so good in this map when running around because they will actually use dark plasma versus the Praetorians and Ravagers, which kills aliens very quickly. Oop, don't do that. A lot of acid damage there. I think at this point, uh, the Marines send an exosuit. Or I think it's two exosuits, so... Should be getting that soon. I just know it's roughly at the same time that all that this swarm of aliens come for you. If you're awkward enough, you can actually get the exosuits to fight, to fight the, uh, the aliens. Let's heal these up before we go in. I doesn't have enough energy to actually heal the uh, the ailment. Fucking hell, man. Runners are... You know, that upgrade, that runner upgrade is actually so vicious. Like, it's actually horrible. Like, when, you, when you're playing as aliens and you use the runner upgrade on... And uh, use runners on um, like the Kerns or the Oswalks. They get sick as well. It's like, oh, my, my cute little cows. All right. This guy is still sick. Oh my god. Really? No. Right, um, we're 14 minutes, so we should be okay. The only uh, time consuming part is finding all the aliens after you kill the Predator Queen. And she's just straight up here, so. We'll just save just in case we fuck up. Saving is good. So this is where the like kind of run gun tactics help. Yep. See, Ravagers are absolutely easy cells. The, oh yep, there's the Predator and Queen. You didn't get, you didn't really get a good look at her, but oh shit, that's a lot of runners. But they all died at once, so that's good. You didn't really get a good look at her because hunters are just so good at killing things. But basically, huge, 
think of like a queen or a predator form. Yes, that wasn't obvious enough. <laughs> um, at this point, the alien AI actually creates another queen, like most of the time anyway. Although this game has been a bit different because we haven't seen any exosuits. Well, it's entirely possible. Uh, Here are predators getting this well over here. Oh, it's entirely possible the exosuits were killed by the aliens while they were traveling towards us, or they went through the northern entrance. Because what happens usually after you, what happens after you attack the Predator and Queen is that the, pred is the uh, Marines will also come down to you and attack you, like they're every single Marine. Just like when you attack, um, just like when you attack a Comtech or an Atmo, the Marines also will get alerted and come down and charge you. Okay, so there should be an... Um... Yep, there's the queen there. I've never seen them have more than two queens in this map, so... Yeah, as you can see there, the corpse of the contact, when you attack the Predator and Queen, they charge you as well. Yeah, as you can see, so many Praetorians. Yeah, I'm a bit stuck here. But you see, weirdly enough, um, most of the Marines actually just go through the northern entrance of the hive up on the minimap there where I'm kind of circling and they just get slaughtered by the, by the aliens it's kind of weird the program in that way okay so uh, we killed like as you can see by the dozens of corpses littering here we have killed pretty much their entire hive and there's the pred alien queen there very similar to the normal queen Except it has 1,000 more health and it looks like a pred alien. So let's, uh, let's get these up. Okay, so he has the skull. I actually missed how many credits we get for pred alien queen skull. We really don't need any more skulls because we have enough credits now to finish the mission. Alright, so let's return this hunter. And as you see, we just we finished the hardest part, now we just need to go through the entire hive and clear out all the aliens. Um, although we got the majority of them there when we were attacking the Pred Alien Queen. Um, and kill them. But that's how you do it without hydras. I'm not going to say blazers because you don't want to even use blazers on this map. There's just too many predating queens. So this uh, Dumbo here should put the skull in soon. Put the skull in please. Thank you. Now we just kill all aliens. Pretty sure I can remember most of the locations of the remaining aliens. I didn't mean that, but okay. It's like these hive nodes are like pimples. You gotta zap them all.
I'm an idiot. Right, deploy the nuke now. Look, exclamation mark. We're in a rush. Deploy it. Let's move all our predators out. Let's save them. We don't want all these predators dying in unhonorable death. Only the ancient must be sacrificed. Because fully enough, in this mission as well, the predators only get like one second before the nuke goes off. Run, my pretties. Any of these stragglers who are running into walls. Wait, I think he's. Is he deploying it? Yes, he's deploying it. Oh, we didn't even get a second. <laughs> because of, look at all the marks on the map. You just saw little circle marks there. That means like something died or something like was taken off the map. And it was only it was only predators and hive nodes that were inside the cave. So only the cave was blown up. So our predators were saved. So that's the predator campaign. What can I say? I, I think it's uh I think the predator campaign is hard um in some parts. Although I believe the marine campaign is just generally more difficult overall, but like Predator has like more difficult parts. Oh and also as well I got all gold medals on the Predator campaign. You get you get a gold medal for finishing it under the par time. Um doing the optional objective and I think it has to be on hard although I'm not sure on that and when you do that you're able to use cheats on the campaign cheats like um, remove the fog of war enable unit spying give me 10,000 credits uh, cheat all levels stuff like that yeah so next is the alien campaign <laughs>